to mix it together. Here to show us how to make his delicious homemade pasta with carbonara sauce, inspired by his new Hallmark movie, Love on the Menu. Welcome back, the man, the myth, the legend, the chef, <laughs> Kevin Smith. Yes. Welcome back, Kevin. That's a lot to live up to. All true. All, All true. true, right? All Thank right. you for being here, Kevin. We love it when you're here. Thank Not you. just because we love you, but you feed us so well. Also joining Cameron at the counter and Ken at the counter is Autumn Reeser, your beautiful co-star. Welcome, Autumn. Welcome, Autumn. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to be speaking about love on the menu in just a little bit. And I'm noticing that, Autumn, you're wearing a chef's coat. Is that for moral support? For yes. Me? I'm going to be doing none of the cooking, <laughs> but um, I'm acting like a chef. Yeah. No, these were, these were <laughs> our wrap great. gifts on they the were. movie. Oh, this I, is I, the oh, oh, and uh, the name about. of his restaurant restaurant in the movie. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I was like, where am I going to wear this? What a great gift at the end of the film. Yeah. Yeah. That's Here's right. the place. You knew it would come in handy someday. So you say making pasta at home. You guys dig in, please. You say making pasta please. at home is simple. It I don't is. believe you. It really is. <laughs> we don't do dry pasta anymore because this is so easy. It just takes a few minutes. Literally, we get our flour in the bowl. I usually use a mix of semolina and double O flour. Why both? Well, double O is nice and fine, and it has a sort of a less, less little less pl protein. And then yeah. I like the semolina because it gives it some chew and some bite, so yeah, you're not, it it's not just kind nice. of a wet noodle. Yeah. So basically, what you want to do is you get your pot, your flour into a bowl. Okay. We're gonna make a little well with a fork or with your hands in the middle. You dump three eggs in. Okay. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil, and about a half teaspoon of salt. And usually what you do is it's like making scrambled eggs. Right. So the you just start mixing the center and you just slowly start incorporating the outside. And eventually you're gonna get what's sort of like a shaggy mass. A beautiful of dough. dough. Exactly. Do you it let that dough rest? Well eventually, yeah, but first the thing you gotta do is you gotta incorporate all this flour in there. And it wow. gets to about this stage and you're just gonna dump it right out. Oh. Just like that. So you don't mix it any more than that? Oh, you know, you got it. Now no, you but start, I mean no, in the bowl. No, this, okay. this, at this point you need to start kneading. And it takes a little while to get all this flour in, but this is the joy. This is the fun part. This is really just, this is so easy. You bring this together, it takes a couple minutes, and then when we start kneading, like 10 minutes of this, it's very therapeutic. If you're having problems at home and you're not allowed to sort of yell at anybody, you can do this. <laughs> so while you do that, while you do that, yes. I would like to um, show everybody a little clip from the movie because this Please. movie was really inspired by your love of cooking. It was. And, you know, by maybe your desire to be a chef in another yes, life. Yes, my failure. And, and this clip that we're showing you was inspired by the love, your love of the movie Ghost, I think. <laughs> Includes Autumn. I guess, it, yes, okay. You're looking great. Now, ditch the fork. Right there. Ready? Dive in. No. Yes. No, no. Yeah, come on, I you need can a do wooden it. spoon no, no. or other utensil. That is not utensils don't that you have don't in the kitchen. It. Yes, feel that? Just get right in there. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> there you go, just like that. Knead it oh, together. That's so Good. There you go. I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. You just got to put a little bit more love into it. Okay. It's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just pasta. Now, from this point on, it just needs to rest. We wrap it and rest it. Then we're going to take a little flour, and then we get to roll it out, which is the fun part. Like that. He didn't do that, did he? Oh, he oh, didn't. okay. So, so how is it? You just take a little flour and then you roll it out. You get predictable. That's how that works. Yep, that's how it works. <laughs> play like that. So that's how we're gonna play, huh? <laughs> oh no, yeah, no, no, come back, no, come back, no, come back. No, no, where are you going? Where are you going? This is fun. <laughs> What a great that's scene! Great. I love that scene. Yeah, that is yeah, so that sweet. sweet. It worked out. Aww. You're really good. <laughs> you. Two of well you together. Done, it's Kevin. fun to watch. It's fun to watch. So after we've rolled out, kneaded that dough, then you yep. roll it out. Well, first, you, after you finish kneading for about ten okay. minutes, you got to wrap it and let it rest so the gluten has a chance to relax. Then you take a chunk off, and you take some. The easiest way to do this really is just with a roller. Flour it, just like that, and then roll it out. It takes a okay. few minutes. But then all we do is we make the noodles. So we tip up the edge like this. We get a little flour on this so it doesn't stick. You're using semolina there? Semolina. Okay. You can use double O if you want. And you just roll it up into a little log, oh. so to speak. Take a nice sharp knife. Ew. I always cut off the edges because they're not, they're not in a square. And then decide what we want. Do we want fettuccine? Do we want linguine? Spaghetti? You're looking at me like we I'm going to make this choice. Whatever the chef wants. Okay. Yeah, I'll say whatever <laughs> the chef choice. wants. Good, good. So yeah. the chef wants fettuccine because it's easy. Okay. So we just cut about fettuccine-sized noodles, 
and we can go on fast because we're oh, on careful. TV and we don't lose move your fingers quickly. Okay. So we've cut it up. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna unwind all these beautiful little. Oh my gosh, she's so fun to watch. Yeah, and it's easy. And then what you do is as you unwind all these Whoa. beautiful little spirals, you add a little bit of this. So you can pull them apart? Yeah, you pull them apart. If you want them nice and straight, you can hang them on a pasta tree, but I kind of oh. like them in a little nest like this. Oh, Kevin. And then you just let it dry out. <laughs> oh, Kevin. I mean, it's so impressive. It's pasta, and it was it's so, so easy. Look at this, this well done. makes a luxurious pasta, oh. any kind of pasta you want, perhaps even a carbonara. That is very, very <laughs> impressive. And then you drop it in the water for how long? The, really, it depends how thick the noodle is, but I would say for a noodle about that thick, that's gonna take about eight minutes. Okay. But I would start tasting it maybe at two or three. Because okay. you don't want it overcooked. Salted you want water? It al dente. Definitely salted okay, water. I like won't the have sea. any seasoning. Exactly. Nice. Okay. Like, exactly like, like the, the sea. sea. You know your yeah, stuff. You know, bit, you're leading I me know, with a question. <laughs> <laughs> which right. I appreciate. So we're gonna we've already boiled our pasta. We have it there waiting. Now we're yes, gonna make we your do. beautiful carbonara sauce. Yes, yeah, so it's pancetta into a pan. And you're gonna get it nice and hot, and eventually you're gonna toss in a couple of garlic cloves, but we'll take the garlic cloves out after they've sort of seasoned the fat. Okay, so they from, don't burn. Exactly. Okay. From this point, it's really quite easy. We're gonna take our nice warm pasta noodles, we're gonna pop them in there, and we're gonna start to get all that stuff together. Oh, the goodness. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, it really so. Really soaks up all that bacon. Yeah, and now we have a mixture of the egg yolks and the parmesan cheese. Here you go. Thank You're you for looking out welcome. for me. And we're gonna take this off the heat now. Because raw egg, egg yolk, just? Just raw egg raw yolks mixed okay. with the parmesan cheese and seasoned with salt and pepper. And then you gotta take it off the heat because if you don't, the eggs will scramble. So we take it off the heat and we just start to incorporate it all in there. Now, because it's a bit of a, a ball, what you wanna do, and this is the mm. magic, is you wanna use some of that hot pasta water that's got all that lovely starch in it from the yeah. pasta. Suck and this up. stuff will suck up so quickly, so it don't. It won't be water. It'll make a nice, beautiful, sauce. creamy sauce. Oh, Once you man. get the egg in there, the pasta will soak up so much of that water. Now, if you didn't have pancetta, could you yeah. use anything else in there? Oh, you could use bacon. You could use. I th to be honest with you, I think you could use anything you want. Okay. You could use vegetables if you didn't want to do. Sure. If you wanted to keep kind of veggie, you could just do onions or maybe some sautéed mushrooms or, or something. You like leeks? Right, too. I love it. <laughs> Man, you went for the leek thing quick. I would quick. do pancetta like, sure. and leeks. Absolutely, we'll get some leeks right away. Oh my gosh. So normally this would, if we had a bit more heat, this sauce would cook up so nice, it would be nice and just buttery by this point. Because that, that, that starch in the water will act as a binder. Which is key, isn't it? Absolutely. It'll just make it lovely and beautiful. So at this point, all this for you. what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our, uh, we're gonna plate our little baby Okay, here. there we go. Thank you. Now, normally, at home, this would cook down a little bit more and we, we'd get a, a thought, the sauce would be just a little oh. bit thicker. Maybe get some of that. Don't worry, we have plenty of show yeah. left, so, you know. It'll soak. We'll be yeah, eating yeah, by yeah, the end of the show. Right. It'll soak in nice. Oh my there gosh, you go, it's and pop that in there, and that in there. Gosh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish you all could smell this at home. That's pancetta for you. Smell a vision. Yeah, pancetta is delicious. Mm. Exactly, a little yeah. bit of arm cheese and a little bit of this. Is You're it gonna delicious, want a little taste. Look at that. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. I'm so That's impressed. I, I mean, it deserves applause. Very impressive. Gavin, Gavin. you are amazing. Right, Debbie have a taste. You're, you're allowed to have wait. a little taste too, man. I think I will. A full recipe, of course, as always, on channel.com. And be sure to watch Kevin and Autumn in love on the menu this Saturday, February 23rd, 8, 7 Central, right here on Hallmark Channel.